once it's in its flight mode. That's because the airfish is a ground effect machine, something utilising that well-known phenomena. When a wing approaches the ground, it experiences increased lift and reduced drag. Airfish's ducted fan provides forward propulsion, skimming the craft along on its sponsons, like some mutant trimaran. But as it accelerates past 25 km per hour, the ground effect creates lift, and at 65 km per hour, it takes off. To make this happen, the flare wing deflects air downwards, which bounces from the surface of the water, and so keeps the craft flying. Its cruising altitude is only one metre, so it stays in this ground effect region and doesn't suffer the increased drag experienced by conventional aircraft flying higher. There's no drag from the water either, as it's not in contact with the surface. So the airfish can cruise with minimal resistance and maximal fuel efficiency over water, land and ice. Its physics, learnt from understanding how heavy seabirds can glide effortlessly, but only when close to the ground or water. The lightweight composite, aluminium and Dacron construction, means it weighs only 500 kilograms. Its cruise speed is 120 kilometres per hour. And by the time you come down to Earth again, your heart rate is about the same. But unlike an aircraft, the 45 litre fuel capacity gives an astounding range of 300 kilometres. Achievable because so little friction is involved. The engine is a conventional 70 horsepower German motorbike one that needs only to deliver the forward thrust. The wing design alone creates the cushion of air. This two-seater runabout is as big as they come. Production should begin within six months, and a sale price of $60,000 US is envisaged. But in the future, the perfection of ground effect technology could see this emerge as the bridge between slow cargo boats and high-priced air cargo.